here's our brand new, exciting last piece in the kit. This is our rear diffuser for the S. And again, same thing. Super easy to install. A few screws to tap in. Double-sided tape installation. Once you put it on, it fits right on top of the ledge and it looks just like this. So it's gonna be identical and it's gonna sit inside of the rear diffuser outline. You can see how it fits nice and flush all the way up and in. The fins are vertical and they fit all the way down and underneath. So it's a very nice sleek diffuser, not too oversized, not too aggressive, but it really gives your car that beautiful aerodynamic looking vertical fin with four of them. And again, it fits right inside. So it's an overlay, nothing to replace, very affordable. And again, all dry molded carbon fiber. Okay, next we're gonna talk about installation techniques before we upload our installation videos. Also, this is our rear tailgate applique. And this is for the older S's. We don't have our new one where they've omitted this from being inside of the taillight. So if you have the full length with the reverse lights built in, this is in stock and it looks great. You put any color letters you want on. And again, this is the carbon fiber tailgate applique uh, overlay. Okay, uh, we got the Model S plan and long range diffuser. We're test fitting it right now and look at how beautiful it looks. All the carbon fiber weave is the same direction of everything found in the S, which is lower left, upper right. And again, look at how nice it fits. It sticks perfect. And all we're doing right now is called test fitting. So you can see the 3M VHB tape is installed in all the locations. When you receive it, don't install it until you put it gently on the back of your Model S. You see how nice it just sits right up here on the shelf. And we're going to secure it with tape. Now the tape's going to hold it on uh, all the way on the top here, sticking it to this glossy surface. So we're going to clean all that with alcohol, use a little bit of promoter to make it really grab. Then down the sides, we've got tape here and tape down way underneath. And we have the optional uh, screws here. We've got seven screw holes if you want to use self-tapping screws to hold it on. We recommend you do. Uh, it's, again, it's way underneath, and um, we've got double-sided tape right around it. Otherwise, you have the possibility of water getting stuck inside, a lot of dirt getting stuck inside. So let's get into preparation, and then we will so show you so how easy it is to install this and how nice it's going to look when it's sitting right on the back of your Model S Long Range or Platte. Okay, rubbing alcohol. Now you got to use this everywhere. You have any wax, any ceramic coatings, anything that's going to stop this from sticking. Dirt, grease. So first, let's start off with the ledge. This is the ledge. Do this in a nice cool place. Don't spray rubbing alcohol. 70, 90, 50. Don't spray it directly on a hot plastic surface. It can burn it. So be careful. Clean it really good. So this is the first location. These little spikes are the second location. So now you want to make sure that the flat vertical is clean. And again, we have ceramic all over this car and not any on here. So we are good. But if you have a ceramic coating on there, you need to remove it. And you need to use a magic eraser or something. Now, what we're going to do is make it really easy. And the last thing we're going to do is put the four holes in. So um, we're going to use adhesive promoter. We're going to put it across the top. You're going to get a packet of this uh, in the box, but we're using 3M's uh, can version, which is the same thing you'll get. And you just want to rub a tiny bit around anywhere the tape is going to be sticking onto the car. So. We know we're going to go across this ledge with one thin line. Let that dry for 30 seconds. We also know that we're going to be putting this right here. So we need a little bit right here. And I'll put it back, back up for a second. Same thing here, right there. 
And now we're going to run it down the sides and across the bottom. So we're going to have to get a little bit lower, but you can see right here, we're talking about running it down here, down the side and across. So I'm going to do this side real quick, clean it good with alcohol. And now we're going to clean all the area with the double stripes. So these are double stripes. So again, first we want to clean it good. You know, you probably never even look underneath here, but I want to get all the dirt off. You can see all the dots we use, 3D scanning the car to give us the data to create this part. Okay, so now we're ready. And again, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off the tape in this way. So what we do is we're gonna plan on securing it on top and then underneath. So the first thing we wanna do is peel all these little pieces of tape because we're going to stick these on and make sure you're only taking off the tape liner, not the red tape, just the red liner. And then we're gonna take these off and then we'll show you our little trick for perfect alignment for the top base ledge piece. Okay, we've taken all the tape off, including the bottom liner, so now we have a nice big piece of carbon fiber with tape. So, experts can put it on like this, but for the do-it-yourself market, we recommend using some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Again, this is going to help us place it, push it down, hold it in place, and push it under. Again, the only way a variance here is how far left or right you're going to this fits very snug from edge to edge, but you really want to get it on nice. So we recommend just put a little bit of alcohol on the tape, on the ledge, and we'll show you here really quick how you can put it on and move it around. So now, notice this. So we're on here, and we're able to slide it back and forth, okay? Everybody see that? And then you want to center it so it's about a millimeter short on each side and then push down. So now I'm centering it with two fingers, one on each side, and I'm holding it, if you can hold that, uh, in place. Now we're letting, this, letting the alcohol dry, okay? And we're making sure underneath, that's sink right on the ledge of the stock diffuser. So that makes it really simple. It's completely flush all the way back. This is flush, this is flush. So it's nice because these two vertical pieces are just grabbing and then we just have to keep the corners down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some tape and we're going to tape both ends down and we're going to go underneath and put those screws in. Okay, now what we want to do is get it nice and secure. So we want to put some tape down below and we want to hold it in place. So again, remember, this end can be sticking in or out. So you want it nice and flush and you want to pull the tape up and stretch it so it applies pressure so there's one another one here tape below pull tape up so we have pressure holding it in this spot while the alcohol dries out now if that's flush then we're going to keep going we're going to go all the way to the other side and again we really want to make sure that it's going to dry out the double-sided tape is going to add here so we'll even go this way, we'll put some cross pressure on, stretch it good and pull it all the way up on the bumper. And as long as this is not protruding out, it'll be good. And again, this piece here is already stuck, but you have time to push it on really strong. And then we're gonna put another piece of tape on it. So we're trying to make the final resting position a permanent one. And the same thing, we have some room here and some surface area and pull up. So see this stretch up and on. Now, this side is nice and secure. We'll come back and check it in a second. 
Let's move over to the other side. And we'll cut some more tape. Now notice um, this piece is not touching. So this double-sided piece of tape is not touching yet, so that's good. So we're gonna get some pieces of tape cut and then we're gonna secure this corner. We're ready to go. So again, we're gonna make sure this piece is gonna go up and now it's holding and it's touching. So we're touching here and the shelf has double-sided tape grabbing. And now as it evaporates, we're gonna make sure this is secure and all the way up and flush. Okay, first piece is going on. Remember, put the tape on underneath like this, not on the top. So the tape here, we want pressure forward. So in order to do that, we're gonna put it like this and wrap it up and forward. Same thing with this next piece. We're gonna get a good grip here. We'll loosen this one and hold that on. Push this one up on and the same thing here a little more pressure horizontally so we're gonna go like this and up and on so we're stretching the tape and we're pushing it on very strong okay last two we're gonna go here up to the reflector, applying pressure. So we're exerting upward and forward pressure. All right, now we're gonna do a couple more supports for the middle area. And then we're gonna go under and do everything on the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna install the seven self-tapping screws that are gonna hold it underneath. And again, on top, you're gonna to leave this tape on like this for 72 hours or three days until the adhesive is very strong. So this will be so secure, especially when you have water, it's going to be a little bit uh, harder to dry out. Okay, now we're going underneath and we're showing you what's going on here. So we've got some hardware locations for Tesla on the back of the S. And then, of course, we're going to put self-tapping one, two, three. It does sit very flush. And if you cleaned it good, you'll notice that there's no issues. So this is completely optional. But we recommend it because with downforce uh, on this unit, it could come loose. The shelf's going to hold it here, but you really want to use the screws. Okay, so now we're down on the very far side of the uh, passenger side. And you'll notice that that will apply pressure and it just locks right in. So we recommend, of course, using any kind of uh, screw gun. You can do it by hand. You could use rivets. As you can see, once the threads go through, it pulls the carbon away and then it squeezes it right back up. There we go. So it's nice, it's not buckling, it's not bubbling. There's no room for water to flow to, you don't want water to get caught up in here. And uh, we're almost halfway done. self-tapping screws for it great then we're gonna get it we're gonna get it all done shine it up we're gonna ceramic coat it to extend the UV life and then um, we're going to uh, get some great photos outside but please keep the tape on 72 hours And then after you're done putting all seven screws in, 
it's a nice chance to double check the flushness of this to make sure you're happy. Um, we're gonna adjust the tape a little bit because we want it to look really nice and really sit on here flat and flush. But it looks great because look at the reflection in this. This is carbon, this is the plastic. And it really shines nice and glossy. We think glossy will be a great uh, choice. We also have our tailgate applique. Uh, we've got spoilers, we've got lots of stuff coming out, and of course the side skirts and the whole body kit now for the S. Uh, thanks again now, and if you want to do any tune-ups, um, just uh, grab the side, push it in all the way, pull the tape off, and again, tape's not going to hold if you've got coatings on your car. So just pull the tape off. And stretch it and pull upward. It'd be nice if you could do this, but there's nowhere to go. So same thing on this side. Just stretch it, put it on there. It's got a hold of the plastic or the painted surface or both. So it's nice and flush. Okay, now let it dry. Let all the alcohol dry out. Let the double-sided tape do its job. Um, if anything, after you take the tape off, put a little pressure on like this. This pressure here is going to make the tape activate. Um, this car has too much ceramic coating on it, so it's not wanting to grab very good. We didn't actually take it all off. But, uh, okay, so this is putting pressure upward, and uh, we'll keep scooting over. So this will be the last tune-up. Let the car sit overnight. Try not to drive it. And then let, let, let this tape stay on and apply pressure for 72 hours please 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 this one here is short Let's go and sitting right on the ledge okay that should do it and the last corner is right here same thing it's nice and flush you can see and we're just putting it there to hold it while the alcohol is evaporating and while the tape's going to dry. Pressure up there. Hold it nice. And the last piece. So crisscross them a little bit and make sure this tape is not going to come off. And uh, we'll be back with some more videos after. And uh, thanks for watching. It's the new diffuser for the Model S Long Range and Plaid, 2021 and newer. And then we'll do all the close. Okay, now 72 hours later, pull all the tape off, lift it from the bottom, pull the strips up, and you will see everything is dried out perfectly. The double-sided tape is holding. The self-tapping screws are holding down below. It's rock solid. The vertical fins are attached and stuck to the plastic area and you are done.